In this video, I will showcase the latest Power Platform announcements from Microsoft Ignite. The features that I will showcase will include demos. So let's check them out in action. Describe it and let AI build it. This is a new way to create flows that runs on the OpenAI concept that can translate natural language to code. In the Power Automate Maker portal, we have this new option to leverage AI to create our flows. We can start describing the flow that we would like to create. Send a message in Microsoft Teams. You can see as I start typing, AI is suggesting some of the recommendations related to flows that I can create. One of them is send a Teams message when a new Microsoft form response is submitted. I can select this. It will give me the suggested flow. I can view the flow, look at the trigger of the flow and the actions in the flow. Click next. Review the connections. Click next. Pick my Microsoft form ID. I would like to post to Teams as a user and click create and the flow has been created. You can also look at some of the samples that are provided. You can click generate new samples to see a list of all the most popular or commonly used samples. Another example, approval on SharePoint document. And here is the suggested flow for that specific scenario. Format data by examples. We can use the power of AI to reshape our data the way we need it. This helps us to format text, dates, and numbers within our cloud flows by just providing examples of the desired output format. I have a simple flow that triggers when a new item is created in a SharePoint list and sends out a notification email. The email that I receive has information related to that specific item. Now in the body of the email, I display the session code. Let's go ahead and format session code. I will head over to expressions and here is the new format data by examples option. For dynamic content, I will pick session code. Here I can give an example value of the code, let's say 1000. And the output that I would like to provide here is a specific format for session code, which is SC dash the code itself. I'll click get expression and it will automatically generate the expression for me to get that desired output. I can even test it with different values. This looks good. I will click apply. It will go ahead and place that expression in there. Budget is a number column. Once again, I will format. I'll take a sample value. I also get some suggested transformations. I'll go ahead and select this one, click get expression, click apply, and that puts the expression in there. The date and time that I receive in the email comes in this specific format. So let's change that as well by leveraging format data by examples. Start date and time. Here is my sample value and the desired output. I would like to have it in this specific format. I click get expression and click apply. And I will do the same for end date and time. This time when the flow runs, the email that I receive will have the data in the format that I have specified. The newest Power Platform product for creating modern, secure, responsive business websites, which is known as Power Pages, is now generally available. We can create a site and we can choose from a wide variety of business solution templates. I'll pick one of the registration based template. I can preview the template. Power Pages are responsive by design. I can choose the template. I can give my site a name, create a web address, and click done. This now will start setting up my modern, secure, and responsive business website. 
In the left navigation, we have the list of all the pages. I can add a new page on the fly, pick from some standard layouts that are provided, or I can create and upload my own custom layouts. I can give my page a name. Let's say I start from blank, click add. I can start adding components. If you've built a page in the modern SharePoint experience, Power Pages is quite similar. I've added some text. I will format the text. Maybe I would like to include a video here from YouTube. Paste the video URL, click OK. I can adjust the height and width of this component. We can bring in information from Power BI. We can create a form experience, multi-form experience, or simply list out the data in our tables. We also now have the ability to edit the code related to our page in Visual Studio Code, thus providing pro developer capabilities where we can extend our pages. We can pick from a standard set of theming options that are provided, or we can independently pick the different brand colors that we would like to provide. Power Pages is connected to Dataverse. So currently I have these different tables that have been prepackaged as part of the template. I can create my own table, click create. This will create the table and open the standard table designer experience. Under setup, we can see the details of our site. We can define the identity providers for our portal. We can leverage the power of Azure AD or select from a wide variety of other identity providers. We can take a look at all the permissions associated with the tables. We can create new permissions. We can define the level of access and we can add specific roles. By default, our power page experience will be private. You also have the ability to turn this into a public website. So this can be accessed anonymously. You can deploy this as a progressive web application, wherein it will give us the app package that we can install in any of the app stores. Once you have all your configurations synced, you can preview your power page experience. Managed environments for Power Platform offer a set of advanced out-of-the-box governance capabilities that simplify, automate, and streamline IT administration. IT admins gain greater visibility and control of the artifacts that are being created inside an environment. And all of this with a simple click of a button. From automatically delivered weekly digest emails providing insights into how apps are used across the organization to increased control on app sharing in an environment. Managed environments will soon include built-in support for pipelines where application lifecycle management automation will be included in product. Makers will be able to easily move their solutions from one environment to another using a secure and automated pipeline experience. Solution checker in managed environments, which will provide the ability to check the solutions with dozens of security performance and reliability rules to alert whenever a potential violation is detected. Co-authoring in the modern app designer experience. This provides real-time collaboration capabilities thereby allowing multiple makers to collaboratively build and edit the same app simultaneously. For this Power App, I have two other users, which are Sarah and James, who are currently co-authoring this application. I can select that user, send them an email, or even start a conversation directly in a Teams chat. So I can see that Sarah is currently working on the device details page. I even have the ability to add comments directly in the app designer experience itself. This is very similar to the office style commenting. So I can add mention Sarah. I can add my comment, click submit. 
and now signed in as Sarah into that same power app in a co-authoring experience. I can see that Reza is also on the same page and Reza has posted a comment. I can select that. So it shows me the command respond to Reza right here. Cards for Power Apps is a completely new way to design and deliver mini apps directly inside of Microsoft Teams and in future in Outlook by using the low code experience. I'll head over to the cards experience and go to create and click create a card. Give my card a name, click create. This opens up the card designer experience. I can start by dragging and dropping elements onto the card canvas. I can even include controls that require user input. I can create variables and even connect to data sources. The only data source that is supported as of now is Dataverse with support for the entire connect to suite coming soon. I'm trying to create a simple happy birthday card. I will insert an image, give a URL for the image. I'll create a variable, call it name of type text. I am wishing Sarah. We have the PowerFX capabilities available here. So I'll use ampersand and point to my name variable. I can play the experience of the card to see it live in action. You can see how the variable name has been placed here. I can visualize this in Microsoft Teams in light mode or dark mode and see how the card looks like. And once I'm ready, I can simply click send, copy the link that has been provided for this card, head over to Microsoft Teams, conversation with Sarah. I will paste that link here and link unfurling will take place and render that card right here in line. Here is an example of a card that I created that connects to a Dataverse table that has information to some of the videos that I posted. It has the thumbnail image of the video and a link to the video, which I can launch by clicking on this button. Make a matching is delivered with a new integrated power virtual agent experience that will help guide makers to the learning content they need while also connecting them with experienced makers or advisors from within their organization. As an administrator in the admin center under resources, we have power apps assets here. I can provide some internal resource links that the bot will leverage and put forth to the maker who is interacting with the bot. So I can provide link to documentation, to a teams group or to a Yammer community. Under advisors are the list of users who are identified in one of two ways. Either the admin themselves have identified that specific user to be an advisor. And I can do that as an administrator by heading to add an advisor simply selecting a user that I would like to add as an advisor and add them in the advisors list. The product itself will invite successful makers based on the usage of the product. Now as an admin, I have the ability to remove any user who has been marked as an advisor. So when James signs in to the maker portal experience, James has got this notification that says, can you help others in your organization? In this case, I'll say, yes, I'll help. I can set my availability. If the availability is set to yes, only then will James's name appear in the chatbot, and the user can also decide the communication method, whether they would prefer email communication or communication over Microsoft teams. The user can update their settings by heading to power app settings advisor and then turning their availability on or off. In the maker portal experience for power apps, I can call the ask a virtual agent. This will open the chatbot experience. I'll click next. 
I can pick from a wide variety of topics that are presented. I need help with Power Apps formulas. Stage one is the Microsoft documentation. Now, if I click on these, it'll give me more details about that specific item that I have selected. So here's stage two. Here were all the links that I configured. These were the list of users who signed up as advisors and who stated that they were available. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.